Hi, I have a minute here to myself and wanted to talk about one aspect of sleep training that I just um, was really revelatory for me, which is that it's so important to teach my child to feel tired. Um, I didn't sleep train with my oldest, who's now 10. You know, I was really into attachment parenting, as I am with my baby still now, but with the oldest, I just thought you couldn't sleep train and like be a good attachment parent or something. Um, so what I, what I ended up doing though was teaching my oldest daughter to not know what it feels like to be tired. I would trick her into falling asleep every night by nursing until she fell asleep. And once we stopped nursing, then I would have to rub her back every night until she fell asleep. I remember just laying there like <laughs> begging the gods to help her fall asleep. Um, and just being in there for so long. And now look at this ray of light. Um, so now with, with my baby Nixie, who's seven months now, we started sleep training two weeks ago and she slept for 10 straight hours last night. Uh, nursed for a couple minutes and slept for another three hours. But I've taught her how to feel tired and then how to get herself to sleep when she feels tired. And that's just, you know, a lifelong skill. And I can't get rid of this ray of light, but I think that's okay, right? Um, and it feels really good to have done that. Um, I'm outside my chiropractor's office right now, and she's a mother of three. I'm a mother of two. I asked her if she sleep trained, and she said, with my, my second two, but not my first. And for the same reason that I didn't, it wasn't attachment parenting, it was mean. And what we talked about is that we taught our first children that we have no boundaries, um, that they have access to us whenever they want, and that self-care is not a priority. And we both, you know, have spent a lot of time undoing what we taught them that way. And it's been a different thing with our second and her third kid, and we're just huge proponents of sleep training. She specializes in women and babies and children, and she really recommends sleep training to all of her clients and just finds it so helpful for everyone, as do I. So, um, you know, I have this whole blog posted here that explains more, but I just kind of wanted to, to touch on those two things. And so, now I have. Thanks for being here, and I hope you, I hope you get the sleep you need. Okay, bye.